Hello, I am Rochelle and I have another one of my friends with me. This one is Woody. He's the alpha cat of the house and you might have seen him or at least heard what he did in uh, the video I made of my Harry Potter collection. He's off chasing lizards. Anyways, in this visit video, I am going to talk about this book, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Keep watching to find out if I loved it, hated it, or somewhere in between. It took me about one day to read the book. It was actually a much easier read than I expected. I forgot it wasn't in novel. I mean, I knew it wasn't in novel format, but I forgot about the fact that it would be a much quicker read because it is in a play format. And after I finished reading it, I gave my opinion about it to my kids. And my younger daughter asked me if this story is now part of the Harry Potter canon. And canon simply means it's an official part of whatever fandom has been created. I said I think it probably is because it's got J.K. Rowling's name on it. She helped create the story. She's one of three people who created the story and she has been promoting it all over the place. Having said that, I am going to pretend this book never existed. This story, I hated it. Hated it with a passion. I, I have some friends who actually do like it, but not me. And I, <clears throat> I have no doubt that seeing the play is a different experience than reading the book because you get to see what's going on. There's all kinds of magic as you would expect. And so all of that is probably visually just wonderful and takes away from the story. And if I had the opportunity, I'm sure I would see it. I am absolutely positive that at some point in the future, the play will be put on DVD. So those of us who can't see it either in London or when it eventually gets to Broadway, those of us who can't do that can see this, I'm sure, but that's also probably years down the road. So all we have now is the book. And I've tried to make this video several times and I keep getting too winded in telling you exactly why I hate it because it's almost everything about it I hate. So I've decided to try and be as brief as I can. Having no, not having. At this point, I've been spoiler free. If you don't want to know anything about the story, stop watching now because I am about to start going into details on the story. Even though it'll be as brief as I can, I'm still going to start saying things. So if you don't want to know anything about it, stop, turn it off, go watch another video. Okay, if you're still with me, that means you want to know or you're curious either about what the story is or why I hated it. So what it comes down to is the story is really about Scorpius's, Scorpius, who's Draco's son, and James, who is Harry and Ginny's son. They become best friends. They're both sorted into Slytherin. Yay, Slytherin, you got a good kid there. Two good kids, actually. Scorpius is a really good kid. And I honestly don't know which of the two of them is the cursed child. Uh, I guess it's James because the kid on this picture has brown hair and Scorpius has blonde hair like his dad, but it really could have gone either way. I don't think it was totally clear. Um, there were rumors about Scorpius being Voldemort's son, that Draco went back in time with a time turner and had his wife get pregnant with Scorpius, which was not true. But what ended up being true to this story, which I am not considering part of the canon, remember that, is that Voldemort did have a child with Bellatrix and no one knew about it. No one knew that she had a daughter. Really? Because I'm certain that if 
Bellatrix had had Voldemort's child, she would have been screaming it from the rooftops. She would have been showing that child to everybody because she was completely obsessed with him and as in love with him as she could be in her sick, twisted mind. So we're supposed to believe that they had a child and she kept it secret. And then we're supposed to believe that Voldemort would actually want to have a relationship like that with Bellatrix. And I just don't see it happening. I really, really don't. And why would he want a child? He loves no one except himself. And even that's not really love. It's more just being obsessed with never dying. So I don't buy that at all. And, but she's the bad guy in this story. And uh, there is a time turner too, actually. And they get used by first multiple times by Scorpius and James. I'm saying James. Wow, was I wrong on that. Albus, holy cow, I can't believe. See, that's how much I don't like it. I've just kind of blocked it out of my mind. Albus, Albus and Scorpius are best friends. They use the time turner several times. And why do they do that? To save Cedric Diggory. So that messes lots of things up to the point where Albus isn't even born because Harry is killed at the Battle of Hogwarts during you know, the big battle, and then Voldemort takes over the world because he survived, and so on and so on. Um, that was when they did succeed in keeping Cedric alive, but then they realized, no, they can't mess with things like that. It has to go back. That's really the story in a nutshell, but the characters we know, Harry, Ron, Hermione, Ginny, to me, at least reading this book, they were not true to the characters we know at all. I, I, I get that Harry has PTSD, post-traumatic stress syndrome, and I believe that, I buy that. What I don't buy was anything else. I thought Ginny was kind of snarky with Harry. I thought Hermione was out and out mean at times to Ron, and she may have driven him bananas, but I never felt like she was mean to him. Then at one point when time gets changed, Ron didn't marry Hermione. He married Padma Patil. And that's really kind of complicated. And I don't even understand how he ended up with her because in that storyline, he took Hermione to the Yule Ball. Not Padma's sister, Parvati. And... It just doesn't make any sense to me how he took her Hermione to the ball but ended up liking Padma. And he and Padma got married and they had a son named Panju. I probably am getting that wrong. I'm probably forgetting slightly. I think that was it though. And I got the impression he didn't even really like his son. I think it was being played for comedic effect, what went on in the little scene with his son. But it just... It didn't sit right with me. Not at all. Not at all. Uh, I was kind of reminded, after I finished reading it, of this series. This is the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy series. And it's, a, it's five books. Douglas Adams wrote five of the Hitchhiker's books. And when I bought it, I read the reviews on Amazon and pretty much everyone was unanimous saying, don't read the last story. Just don't read it. It's horrible. I read the last story. And when I was done, I thought, oh man, <laughs> I totally got why everybody said, don't read the last story. Don't read the last story. <laughs> I really cannot recommend it. I feel terrible saying that, but I cannot recommend it. Unless, of course, you're a completionist, or you're just really curious, or you're a masochist. I don't know, any of the above. I, I mean, I was to the point where I see J.K. Rowling's name on here, and I'm thinking, does that stand for just kidding? I, I don't know what she was thinking when she approved this, because it's bad fan fiction. It really is. It is not good. 
I, I, I avoid fan fiction. I tried it once and I hated it. This was worse than what I read. So it's up to you, but my personal opinion is it's terrible, bad fan fiction. But like I said, if I get a chance to see the play, I know I will. I mean, on DVD. I'm not paying money to go to the play, I'm pretty sure. Well, I don't have an opportunity, so that's not a problem. But if it were to come to the tiny little town I live in, I don't think I'd be paying to see it. Mm -mm. But I'd buy the DVD. So that's all I have. <laughs> Did you read it? Or were you even fortunate enough to see the play? Because I've heard that's pretty spectacular. Like I said, got the whole visual element going on there. There are things in the story that I'd love to see how they did it. But did you read it? What did you think? Please tell me in the comments below. I do want to know. What did you like or dislike about it? Or if you didn't read it, have I persuaded you to do so or not? Let me know. I really want to hear from you. That is all I have right now. I will see you in the next one.